Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to see how your disk space is being used on your Windows 11 computer and how it's broken down by different areas, so programs, temporary files, recycling bin, that kind of thing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on the Windows Start button and select Settings. And you want to select system on the left side. And then on the right side, you want to go down where it says storage. Go ahead and select that. And this will give you a breakdown of your categories. So when you select show more categories, it'll give you a breakdown of your system storage usage, whether it's in the system space, apps and features, documents, pictures, music. So these are considered as part of that folder if they're in within the folder itself. So, for example, if you have documents outside of the documents folder, it's not going to be included in this amount. And it just says just as much as well underneath each of these. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. Definitely gives you a nice idea of how much each area of your computer is taken up. And you can refresh this as well by getting more up-to-date information by selecting the refresh button. So, let's say you delete a couple programs and you want to come back in here and check and see how it's improved. You can come back in and then reset it or I should say refresh it, and that should give you a more accurate picture of your storage usage. And one further thing, if you click the back arrow, you can also use the storage sense, which automatically frees up space, deletes temporary files, and manages locally available cloud content. If you were to go ahead and actually open that up, you could run this occasionally, so you can run it every so often, and it will delete files in your recycling bin, as well as unused downloads that might still be in your downloads folder that haven't been used in a certain period of time. So nice ways on how to clear up files that generally should be deleted after so much time has elapsed. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.